sooner or later, as you go around the world, as I did, looking at these sites, at the myths, at the monuments, at the memories that have been passed down, at the fingerprints of what becomes more and more real as a great lost civilization, you have to begin to ask yourself, if I'm finding the fingerprints, where is the body? Where is the rest of this civilization? Why do we find so little? And I'm convinced that the answer to this question lies in the cataclysm that brought the last ice age to an end. And as I said earlier, the ending of the last ice age is an enormous geological mystery, and we do not really understand what brought it to an end. But when you have millions of square miles of two-mile-thick ice melting in just a couple of thousand years, you are, by definition, looking at the cataclysm. We live on a planet that revolves around a star. In fact, the Earth is revolving around the sun at 66,600 miles per hour, which means that we've uh, traveled well over 70,000 miles uh, tonight while I've been talking. Uh, if you stand on the equator of the Earth, you're spinning with the rotation of the Earth at 1,000 miles per hour. And our planet is subjected to the gravitational pull of the moon that circles around it and of neighboring planets in the solar system and of the sun itself. With all this massive rotational centrifugal activity, once you become conscious of it, you begin to realize how fragile our environment may really be. And back in the 1950s, a radical theory was proposed to explain the end of the last ice age by Professor Charles Hapgood in the United States. And Hapgood's theory of Earth crust displacement was endorsed fully at the time as to its physics by Albert Einstein. The theory has never been accepted by orthodox geologists, and I'm not sure if it's right, but I think it's worth consideration. Broadly, what Hapgood and Einstein were arguing is that from time to time, the entire outer crust of the Earth can move, shift in one piece around the body of the Earth. And when this happens, land that is in cold parts of the planet, close to one or other of the poles, and thus naturally covered by ice, is moved cataclysmically into warmer parts of the planet, and thus naturally melts very, very rapidly. And at the same time, land that's in warm parts of the planet is shifted into colder parts of the planet. And as I said earlier on, the work on Earth crust displacement that Hapgood and Einstein did has subsequently been refined in a very interesting manner by Rand and Rose Flemath in Canada, whose book, When the Sky Fell, I would urge everybody uh, to read because it's the most detailed analysis of the Earth crust displacement theory. What this theory offers is an explanation for the sudden ending of the Ice Age. Broadly speaking, it happened, Einstein said, because of the asymmetrical distribution of ice around the poles, the massive buildup of ice at the poles, and all these spinning rotational forces. Sooner or later, a trigger moment is reached, and the processional wobble of the Earth comes into it, which causes all that asymmetrically deposited ice, that massive weight of ice, to exert sufficient thrust on the crust of the Earth to set the whole crust in motion. And such an idea does explain how we lose a whole civilization, indeed, how we lose a whole continent on which, on which such a civilization might have grown up. Because according to the Earth crust displacement theory, the continent of Antarctica, which features in all those ancient maps, was not 17,000 years ago where it is today. Prior to the displacement of the crust, it was much further north. Uh, and the Antarctic Peninsula would have been entirely deglaciated and would have offered a comfortable environment for a high civilization to grow up. Then this shifting of the crust, which brings the so-called Ice Age to an end, moves Antarctica dead center onto the Antarctic Circle, and gradually the ice begins to build up over that continent, burying the remains, the body, of that great lost civilization. As I say, I don't know if the Earth crust displacement theory is correct. All I do know is that something awful happened to the Earth at the end of the last ice age. Maybe